Okay, so the tools and services that I use and that you should really consider. So you'll find that when you first get into the SEO game that there's a million different tools for a million different uses. Um, you'll have a lot of fun exploring them all and, and trying them all out, but here's what I recommend you start using to get started. First and foremost, without a doubt, is Google Analytics. Google Analytics is the free enterprise-level SEO software uh, offered totally free of charge by Google. Even if you use a secondary analytics platform, I highly recommend installing this um, as well. It's really good to have two analytics systems in order to double-check data because they'll always they're 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 never going to sync up perfectly. So it's good to have a uh, two two different uh, visions on your on your analytics, but definitely worth installing. Next is the Google Webmasters tools. Um, the Google Webmaster tools are almost not optional, if you ask me. This is where you'll go to submit your sitemap. You can get a lot of uh, they do a lot of a lot of messaging now to let you know about different warnings for your site. There's site configuration stuff and and diagnostic tools plus one metrics which they're trying to push more recently but there's a there's also there are they also started to incorporate a lot of keyword data as well so definitely worth uh, worth installing this it's free next is the Google AdWords keyword tool as I mentioned earlier in the presentation once you first get into SEO this will become your new home um, there's a lot of different keyword research tools out there that you should check and and I recommend playing with but this is really where you want to start definitely the starting point for your keyword research. And once you're done with that keyword research, it's worth double checking all your work in Google Trends. Google Trends will show you whether or not a keyword is gaining in popularity, losing popularity. It's really good to check for seasonality. So for example, if you type in the word Christmas and it says it's searched for a thousand times a year um, or a hundred times a month, right? It might be that it's searched ten times a month and a thousand times during December, right? So it's, it's really good to check some of your your phrases and make sure that they're not concentrated in one time of the year as well. DreamHost, uh, there's a million different places where you can host a website, but having been doing this for a while now, I really can't recommend anything higher than DreamHost. DreamHost is fantastic. It's a really, really good web hosting domain registration company. They have really good support. It's pretty cheap. And they have these one-click installs, which I really love. You can um, you can get a WordPress site up and running in just a couple of minutes, so it's really really nice. There's a lot of web hosting companies out there that try and do sneaky stuff and auto opt in and auto re-register you and all this all this other garbage you want to avoid. So I highly recommend sticking with DreamHost. Next is Dream Template. If you're not a designer, like and if you're like me and you're just totally design illiterate, I uh, I really much much prefer using templates. So I like modifying and hacking uh, different templates rather than starting anything from scratch. So I really like Dream Template. If you're creating a site with pure HTML and CSS, this is a fantastic option. They have uh, 7,000 templates and it's 60 bucks a year. And you have unlimited access to all of them. So if you're not doing WordPress and you're just doing a sort of HTML, CSS type site, then I really recommend Dream Template. However, if you are using WordPress, then I really love Elegant Themes. I've gotten really high on them for the last few months. They're, uh, it's a similar concept as Dream Template, only it's a little cheaper, but with less themes as well. There's, it's $39 for unlimited access to all their themes. But they're beautiful, really, really good if you're uh, sticking with WordPress as your CMS platform. MetaFever. So MetaFever has a uh, free SEO report embedded in their site. You can check it out here. And I highly recommend doing this once you're live. You type in your URL and it basically runs through all the SEO best practices and lets you know whether or not you have any concerns. This is one of those reports where you know you would pay an SEO agency a few thousand dollars in order to get this. And, and it's really just this sort of machine generated report. Um, so it's really good to to check this out in order to catch anything that you, uh, you may have missed. So plug your URL in there and it'll give you some great learnings. In order to check rankings, there's a lot of different types of software out there. Here's a few of them that I really like. Web CEO I've used for a while. Um, it's a, it's a paid option, but it's it's pretty comprehensive and, and worth checking out. They have a uh, a web based platform now, which I haven't tried. I've only used the um, 
the actual software, the offline software. A free option that's uh, worth checking out is Traffic Travis. Um, unfortunately, I've had some problems with updating. It seems to get uh, it seems to get blocked by Google a lot, so they they might that might change or it might just be might just be me. But uh, if you're not quite ready to pay for ranking software yet, you can try a a sample with Traffic Travis. Definitely an option. Another great paid option is Advanced Web Rankings. This is uh, this is what I'm currently using right now for some of my personal sites. It's worth checking out. Most of these types of software you can initially try for free, but Advanced Web Rankings is is a really good one as well. And for larger companies and enterprise SEO platforms, there's uh, there's a lot of options for you out there. But we at PayPal are currently using Bright Edge. I really like Bright Edge a lot. The team there is fantastic. The tool is incredible. Um, if you're just starting out and and running your own personal site, this probably isn't the option for you because it's um, the pricing is is probably out of your range. But for larger companies that are uh, that are serious about their SEO efforts, then I highly recommend Bright Edge. The other option is Ginza Metrics. I really like Ginza Metrics a lot. Um, while I haven't used it professionally, I've sampled it, and uh, they're doing a lot of really good things there. So I highly recommend checking them out as well. And in terms of checking backlinks, there's a, a number of free tools out there, but one of my favorites that I've been using for a few years now is Link Diagnosis. You can check it out at linkdiagnosis.com. And remember that this is for Firefox only. You need to check this out in Firefox. Next is Bleco. Bleco is a, a really interesting search engine that's trying to steal away market share from Google and Bing. Um, but it's very SEO friendly. A lot of SEOs really like it a lot, and they have a lot of uh, a lot of really cool tools. Tools. Um, if you type in your website and then slash inbound, it'll show you all the links that are pointing to it. Another incredible option is Open Site Explorer. You can check it out at opensiteexplorer.org. Um, there are some limits to using the free tool, but it will give you all the links that you need. Definitely worth checking out and one of the most respected link analysis tools out there. In order to check broken links, there's a free tool called Xenu. This is, uh, this is something you should probably run um, every couple of weeks, or especially if you do a big um, site architecture restructuring, Xenu will show you all the broken links that you have on your site. There's very few books that I would recommend reading when it comes to SEO, with the exception of two. The first is Marketing in the Age of Google by Vanessa Fox. It's an incredible book. Vanessa Fox used to work at Google. She now um, has her own agency and is constantly speaking at... Uh, SEO conferences. Really, really like this book. Highly recommend it. And the other one is called The Search by John Battelle. It's a, it's a really interesting analysis of the search industry and how things came to be pre-Google and post-Google. Um, it's a little old now. I think it was published in 2005, but it's extremely relevant to um, understanding how the industry was shaped and also, under in, also understanding um, how Larry and Sergey uh, re positioned Google initially and why they became so dominant in the field. So really interesting read. A lot of cool stuff about citation analysis in there as well. There's a handful of websites that are absolute must-reads. The first is Search Engine Land, and I really like their Search Cap email. It'll basically email you with all the big stories going on in the SEO industry every day. Highly recommend that. Worth checking out. Another one I really like is Hobo SEO. Um, this one is particularly interesting because um, the guy running it, Sean Anderson, is always doing case studies. He really pushes out a lot of interesting case studies that um, that are really relevant and super interesting. So it's it's a good read. And the other mammoth uh, website in this industry is SEO Moz, which everyone knows about. SEO Moz is a fantastic site. A lot of really good blog posts. A lot of really good software. Um, absolutely worth your time and, and worth checking out. And finally, if you are selling a digital product, I really like eJunkie. eJunkie is a great way to do digital delivery of a, of a product. It's pretty cheap um, and worth checking out if you're selling anything digitally. Those are the tools I recommend checking out. Again, there's a lot more 
that you can try, but these are the best ones in my opinion and uh, the ones that you'll most likely use getting started.